Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Malinga Sise of Haban Harvest Organic Farm. For all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel, I am so grateful. And for those who have noted, please, let's consider subscribing. Click on that notification bell so that you never miss out any upload. Let's move this channel to 5k subscribers. Uh, guys, I'm so grateful for all the support you have given me. And uh, may the good Lord forever bless you. Uh, today, I want us to talk about something very important, and that is how you can check for a good laying bird and uh, you may have your birds in the farm they have reached point of lay and other birds are laying and others are not laying uh, so i want you to, to know that this but i want to teach you how you can check about a bird which is laying and the ones which are not laying and this is really very important because some of these birds even up to up to, until you lay them off may end up not laying and so it is not it is it, is, it makes no reason of keeping them in the farm when they are just feeding for nothing and they are not they are not laying so i want you to know know how to, to to check a laying bird and the one which is not laying and to see reasons that has that brings about some of these birds not to lay so please i want us to stay till the end and see how we can share and discuss what brings about some birds not laying and how you can check for a bird which is laying and not laying thank you As I told you earlier on, today I want us to look at something which is so practical and very important and this is out of my experience in poultry farming and that is how you can check for a good laying bird and what are the causes of these birds not to lay. Uh, surprisingly, some of these, bir bir these birds, we bring them on the same day, we take care of them equally well, even we do all the necessary things, but some of them end up not laying eggs. So please, I, we want, I want someone out there who is planning to do this project to know that some of these birds will end up not laying eggs and you must know as a farmer how to check for a bird which is laying and a bird which is not laying. Because a bird which is not laying, of course it is eating the money for nothing it is you're feeding them for nothing you're treating them for nothing and it's not bringing for you something so it is not worth keeping it in the farm and the birds which are laying you should continue with them and the ones which are not laying you should know or see how you can eliminate them that's why today i want you to know how to check how you can check for the birds which are laying and the ones which are not laying and what are the things that brings about some of these birds not to lay uh for you to know that this bird is laying first of all you should look at first of all for you to know that this bird is laying or not laying a good laying bird you look at the water and the home a, a good laying bird as you can even see the comb is looking very well very healthy and the, the water is also looking very well and very healthy but and even for the bird which is not, which is laying if you put these two fingers in between the pelvic bones you find that it will enter it can, the two fingers can fit in between the pelvic bones and this, this shows that this bird is really laying and it's a good layer but for the ones which are not laying hmm, actually this even applies in our local chicken if you go to the market and you want a bird which is laying eggs and has eggs inside just put your two fingers like this put in between the pelvic bones if it enters between the pelvic bones just know that bird is laying eggs and probably it has even eggs inside but the ones which are not laying really you just see also from the what from the comb you see the bird the bird's comb is not looking appetizing and not looking good even the water is not looking good actually even the weight you see, really see that the weight is really very light because for a laying bird at least a minimum weight should be around 1.8 kilograms but you see this bird surely this is not this bird is not laying and it it is it is of the same age with the other one which i showed you before so a bird a bird which is not laying you first look at the the age the 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 the, the weight of the bird you look at the comb and the water looks definitely so miserable and even in between the pelvic bones if you put these two fingers and you put it here you find that it doesn't enter between the pelvic bones actually even just one finger it is hard for this one finger to enter in between the what the pelvic bones this is definitely a bird which is not laying so in most cases what i do and with the experience that i have got uh some of these birds you when i bring the birds and they start laying i first normally give them a period of 
like six months if they have late for six actually from four five and six months i wait until that age and then i see if the birth which is not which is not laying what i normally do i normally sell them off and actually also another thing that i forgot to tell you for you to also know this bird is laying a bird which is laying if you go near that bird automatically it will go down it will it, it is so loyal that when you just want to touch it like this it goes down immediately but the ones which are not laying you can chase it the whole farm you cannot even catch it and all the time it is so broody all the time it is so wild all the time you see when it even goes down in fact a bird which is not laying really doesn't have a good time in the farm because these are the ones which are being pecked all the time which are being beaten up by the others pecked all the time so you find that a bird which is not laying doesn't really have any good time in the farm even even you the farmer you really say a bird is really miserable even the time for feeding the busy pecking at them so they they just keep in hiding all the time and then these birds which are not laying are the ones eating up the eggs for the ones which lay eggs because if you see if you enter into the farm and you go inside the laying nest because what they do they always now keep in hiding into those laying nests because they are fearing the friends i even don't know how some uh, these ones know that these ones are not laying i really don't know i think it is just nature they they easily identify that these ones are laying and this one is not laying so you find the ones which are not laying all the time they are hiding inside these laying boxes and they're the ones eating on the eggs for these ones which are which are laying so that's why i always advise if you really the birds are, your birds have started laying and it is now four months start looking or even for between four five six months start looking for those birds which are not laying see how you can eliminate them because some of these birds you will end up even separating them taking care of them well treat them but they will still end up not laying according to my experience so me what i normally do I normally sell them off i see how i can pick them one by one and i sell them off actually these ones that are still there i had left them for demonstration to show you how you can see this one is laying and this one is not it's not laying uh, but i also want us to know some of the reasons that will make this bus not to lay because honestly these birds you bring them the same day from the same supplier you take care of them the same way you vaccinate them you give them this vitamins as it is recommended but you find a bird will end up not laying the number one reason that i have seen why these birds do not lay according to my experience number one the other problem comes from the archery as i told you in my one of my previous videos when you bring up these birds from the archery please endeavor to weigh them the birds that you you see is is below 35 grams just know that bird may end up not laying or will lay but not lay well may not be a good layer because a bird which is which is which is good I, uh, that bird uh, that chick should be at least 35 grams and above but below that just know those birds have gotten some problems from the archery and may not do so well for you and then another problem that i have seen is of course poor feeding some of us farmers will bring these birds and we end up not feeding them as it is recommended probably maybe because of no no enough capital or maybe we want to we want to save some money so we end up not feeding these birds as recommended so you will find that the birds will end up not laying well or some birds will end up not laying at all and then another challenge that i have seen that has made some of these birds not to lay is of course diseases uh, like me i uh, one time had in my second flock i think that yeah that was my second flock they were really affected by this newcastle disease and really those those birds most of them ended up not laying until even i laid them i laid them off so when birds are over disturbed by some of these diseases from the beginning or when they are still young you be sure that most of those birds will end up not laying or they will lay eggs and they may not lay very well as it is recommended and so please always endeavor to make sure you vaccinate your birds how it is recommended you feed them well as it is recommended and you get the birds from authentic suppliers whereby you're sure these birds will do well and even weigh them from the day one that you bring them into your farm before you put them into the brooder endeavor always to weigh this to weigh these birds and then another thing that i have seen that has made some of these birds not to lay uh of course the poor feeding time some of these birds may have started laying very well but along the way they stop laying eggs 
and even you find that their pelvic bones will do what will become tight that even the two the two fingers may not go through or may not may not may not enter so why the improper time management when you decide with these layers it is funny when they know that they're supposed to eat at six in the morning please endeavor to give them the feeds at six and enough water but if you're supposed to give the bad feeds at six in the morning and you end up giving these bad feeds at eight or at nine with time slowly by slowly this bad will, will they will start dropping off in laying dropping off in laying and that is also not good and then also enough providing the birds with enough water always make sure these birds get enough water because even if you look at the eggs most of the percentage of the eggs is accumulated by it is it is covered up by water so make sure you give the birds enough water so that at least this bird will lay as you need or as it is it is supposed to because if you do not do that the bird may start laying very well and end up not end up not laying or even end up losing a lot of weight and then another thing that may makes these birds not to lay at all or some of them will start laying and along the way they fall off from laying is stress you see these layers if they are stressed up surely it is really not good it, it affects them in so many ways when they are stressed up and some of the things that bring out the stress of course the fleas that i talked about in my previous video or even some of these rodents when they keep entering inside the farm and disturbing them it also stresses them or even sicknesses and the, the diseases that i've talked about also gives them a lot of a lot of stress or even changing the feeds it also gives them a lot of stress so you find that along the way they will start losing weight they will start falling off from laying and that will lead your birds not to not to lay eggs and of course this is really important so when you're planning to start up this project always make sure that you do as it is as as it is recommended please vaccinate the birds in time get the birds from the 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 the, the, the authentic suppliers always feed the birds in time give them enough water please always make sure that your birds your birds have all that they are they are, they are supposed to have so please for you to enjoy this project and not run away from it always make sure you follow the guidelines do what is recommended actually do to your best and you will really see the outcome and you'll enjoy poultry farming so please I'm so grateful that you have all been watching me. Please do not forget to share this video. Give me your comments down there. This is a platform where we can share ideas. Please tell me some of the topics that you want me to cover. Uh, tell me where you're watching me from. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Don't forget to click on that notification bell so that you never miss out any upload. Let's move this channel to 5K subscribers. I'll be so grateful. Uh, thank you so much for all your support. See you next time. Bye-bye.